My name is Steven Prachner. I'm the program manager for the PIC CPU tools in the gaming division at Microsoft. This is the fourth in a series of videos introducing the new implementation of timing captures in PICs. In this video, I'll cover the various options that are available to configure the PICs UI. These options allow you to customize how PICs displays data in thread, core, and API queue lanes. You can configure how a lane behaves either temporarily or on a more permanent basis. To access the configuration options for a lane, select the down arrow next to its name. A panel appears that contains the options you can change. For example, you can change a thread's color or its font size, or you can determine what types of data to show, whether to show PIX events, markers, context switches, samples, and so on. Changing the configuration settings in this way is temporary in that the changes only apply to the single lane and are not preserved when you open another capture. To change settings on a more permanent basis, we've introduced the concept of a configuration. A configuration is a group of settings that apply to all lanes in the UI. These configurations are preserved when you open another capture. To access the configurations, I'm going to open the lane selector panel. PIX includes three configurations by default. Core is pinned and flattened, core is expanded, and API queues pinned. To edit a configuration, select it in the list box and choose the edit option from the dropdown. A dialog is displayed that lets you change the configuration's options. You can change how the lanes are sorted, either by lane type, event count, or name. You can also change various settings that apply to either core lanes, thread lanes, API queue lanes, or the scheduler lane. You can choose when the lane should be shown, whether it's pinned or not, whether it has a color and what the color is, the font size, the type of data to show, and so on. In addition to editing existing configurations, you can also define new ones. To create a new configuration, choose the New Configuration option from the drop-down. A dialog is displayed that lets you name your configuration and specify the sort order for the lanes and then the individual settings for core lanes, thread lanes, and API queue lanes. Finally, the lane selector also includes a list of all lanes. This is a quick way to do things like change the display order, specify which lanes are shown and not shown, whether they're pinned, and so on. So to summarize, the PIX UI for new timing captures can be configured in a variety of ways. You can choose which lanes are displayed, how they are sorted, the types of data they contain, and so on. Thank you.